Hello, Silicon Signals here, just running over the money management section of our website, just to let you know how you can organize the money management function to make sure that you have a profitable trading strategy. Now, this is one of the most important things about any trading strategy, as you need to have a robust money management system to make sure that it works. So, I've got um, a strategy that I created earlier, and I'll just show you here. It's on our live strategy section. So I'm just going to click into this, and I'll briefly explain what the strategy does. So in the conditions, it's basically a very simple moving average based strategy, where if the price breaks a 30 period moving average on a one hour chart, it goes long, and uh, as soon as it hits our pip target, it stops. So let's go for the manage money section at the moment, and I'll show you how it works. So at the moment, it's just not profitable. It's slightly under. It's 130 pips down for a period that began since the first trading week of December to the current date today, which is the 27th of April 2020. So the trade amount is for one CFD to open when the targets are met. Stop loss is 30 pips at the moment. We're going to change this one to 20 to show you how it could work if you change it. Strategy stop loss here is in US dollars so if I get lower than this particular number here the strategy will automatically stop single position take profit here is at 50 pips we also have a strategy take profit as well here um, that's if we hit a certain target then the strategy will close and we've also got a set trailing stop function as well so I'm just going to save this because I've changed a few things I think I need to change the profit target because I've set the stop loss to 20 let's make this take profit target 40 so just two to one risk to reward there so a positive risk to reward which is important so once you've done that you can test if the strategy works by going to the back testing function we'll choose a fast back test and we'll test it over the same period to see whether it works over that period of time so the first trading week of December is a start date end date will do it as today and we can confirm that there and it will run the back test for us now the back test has changed and you can see the strategy turn from being negative for that period into being positive for that period so it gives you a bit of a breakdown so 27 trades won and then 51 trades lost but because we had a positive risk reward it looked like it worked so let's go back and test this and change a couple of the parameters again so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to change anything on the money management section what I will do is add a trailing stop and let's see what that does to this the trailing stop you can change so let's move it up by let's say 20 pips because we've got a 20 pip stop loss so let me explain this so if the market moves 20 pips in your favor the stop loss will move higher by 20 pips and so will the target profit so it just staircases as long as the trade is going in your favor I hope that makes sense so if we want a visual representation of this so let's say for example you take a short position here every time the position goes with you the stop loss will go with you so if it goes down further the stop loss will move further if it goes down further the stop loss will move further so it just staircase with you to ensure that you lock in some profits now let's see how this worked with our back test so we've gone back to manage money we've saved that let's go to the back testing function we'll go back here and we'll choose the date range again in back testing here we go click the fast back test again and go back to the first trading week in December to make sure that it's all the same and also put it to today's date once again and click confirm so let's see whether this made a difference to our trading results and it actually didn't it kept them exactly the same so let's try and change another thing now so the third test will do so let's just go back here to the strategy good perfect click on the strategy go to the manage money section let's change the stop loss here now so let's change the stop loss to 50 pips and what we'll do is we'll try and target 100 pips and let's take off the trailing stop this time and let's save that so that's saved now done manage money let's go into back testing to test if we've optimized the strategy to make it even more profitable or it could potentially get even worse let's see so start the test on the first week of December till today click confirm let the system do its job and it was even worse it's moved down to being minus 250 pips 
So this is what you need to do. You obviously just have to keep optimizing your strategy until you find the best stop loss and the best target profit for the time frame that you're trading. Obviously, if we could change this trading strategy to a daily time frame, it will have significantly a different effect as it would on an hourly time frame. This particular strategy is based on an hourly time frame. So just play around with the testing function and the managing money function. And eventually what you'll do is you'll find the correct strategy that works and the correct money management plan that works for that particular time frame and the strategy that you've created. But obviously keep playing about with it and try and optimize it as best as possible. Also, if you do need any help or you do need to understand anything in this video, do not hesitate to contact us at Silicon Signals. We're here to help.